So, National Institute of Disaster Management. This National Institute of Disaster Management, okay, which is in Hindi called as Rashtriya Apada Prabandhan Sanstha, okay, that is NIDM, is premier institute of training and capacity development. Training and capacity development, you know the meaning now of capacity development, right? Development of the community of the people in terms of knowledge, in terms of awareness, in terms of training, in order to face the disaster, okay? It is a premier institute of training and capacity development program for managing natural disasters in India on a national as well as regional basis. The National Center of Disaster Management, NCDM, okay, the National Center of Disaster Management constituted under an Act of Parliament in 1995 was redesignated to give the present name as NIDM, that is National Institute of Disaster Management by the Disaster Management Act 2005, passed by the President of India on 9 January 2006. So, before this name, the name of this institute was tra for training and capacity development, the National Center of Disaster Management, NCDM, okay, which was established in 1995. And then the name was changed to NIDM under the Act of Disaster Management in 2000. And this designation, I mean changing of the name to NIDM was done in 2006, okay? Then, so if you see here, the constitution, see the motto of NIDM is Resilient India, Disaster Free India. Disaster Free India and Resilient, that is, we are ready to face and come out of it. That is Disaster Resilient. Okay, it was established in 1995. As I told you, first the name was NCDM, National Center of Disaster Management, and it came into being in 1995. And later the name was changed under the Disaster Management Act. Then the mission, mission of NIDM is to work as consulting agency for the government by providing assistance in policy formation and to facilitate in reducing the impact of disasters through its technological innovations. Who is the president of NIDM? The Union Home Minister of India. Executive is the Major General is Major General Manoj Kumar. Okay, so here you can see everything is given and all these things you can see on their website as well. You have the website of NIDM as well. See, this is the website of National Institute of Disaster Management, nidm.gov.in. Okay, so you could check all the, all the events, all the training courses or the constitution of NIDM, the projects, see, publications, everything, training and workshops on this website, on their personal, I mean NIDM website as well, okay? Then, now where is this NIDM situated? It is situated in Delhi, if you see the address. So where is this Institute of Training and Capacity Development? It is in Delhi. Then, the International Decade for Natural Disaster Reduction, which is called the C. The International Decade for Natural Disaster Reduction proposed with the purpose of ensuring the implementation of international strategy for disaster reduction prompted the Indian Institute of Public Administration under the Ministry of Agriculture and Cooperation, the Nodal Ministry for Disaster Management in India to establish a national center for management and planning the control of such natural disasters in 1995. So this, this is a history how in 1995 this proposal was made in order to develop such an institute, okay. The center was later upgraded as the NIDM on 16th October 2003 with the transfer of the subject of disaster management to the Ministry of Home Affairs. The institute was inaugurated by Home Minister of India on August 11, 2004, okay. And the actual process of it okay started in 2006 as we saw here okay see it was passed by president of india on 9 january 2006 then what are the responsibilities or what are the work 
that NIDM does. So the United Nations designated the 1990s as International Decade for Natural Disaster Reduction. You know there are international conferences. So this 1990s decade was designated as International Decade for Natural Disaster Reduction. In 1995, the Ministry of Agriculture and Cooperation, nominally responsible for disaster management in India, created the National Center for Disaster Management. Right. When responsibility for disaster management was transferred to the Ministry of Home Affairs, the center became NIDM and the institute was officially inaugurated by the Union Home Minister on 11th August 2004. Okay, just a second. Like we had seen about the history that in 1995 how under the Ministry of Agriculture and Cooperation the National Center for Disaster Management was created and when the responsibility of this was transferred to Union Home Minister so in 2005 under the 2005 Act this center became National Institute of Disaster Management. Okay. The National Disaster Management Act of 2005 granted the institute statutory organization status. The Act holds the institute responsible for planning and promoting training and research in the area of disaster management, documentation and development of national level information base relating to disaster management policies, prevention mechanisms and mitigation measures. Now what happens is this institute is not just limited to training okay it is it has large scope like along with the training along with the education through the courses there are research areas in the area of disaster management and also this institute is helpful in taking decisions in making policies in making some mechanism of disaster management in the country Okay, so the NIBM has been mandated that is ruled by government of India okay, as per Disaster Management Act 2005 and it is supposed to be a deemed university and institute of excellence on a higher learning and capacity building. UGC has worked out with NIDM and developed a model curriculum for strengthening the disaster management in higher education and research. Most central universities have envisaged center of disaster management under the school of environmental studies. A core group is being formed with the UGC NIDM to promote the subject at academic staff colleges as well. Like you have this subject in your syllabus now. Okay, so that is also the work done by NIDM that is taking a decision, taking making more policies than how the education will be um, uh, education related to the disaster management could be spread by including such topics or including such subjects at school level, at college level. Okay, so that is also the work done by NIDM in accordance with the universities. Okay, then the NIDM works under government's directives to train and conduct periodic checks to regulate effective earthquake and disaster control policies throughout the country with the support from semi-government, private firms and NGOs. It also conducts mock drills, crisis communication, hazard hunt exercises among their staffers every two to three months. That is very important. When you talk about training, okay, so the demo, demonstration, the mock drills, the exercises at that particular, uh, on, uh, you know, on that particular um, uh, situation, how it will be conducted during the disaster, all these things has to be done. Recently, Delhi witnessed one of the biggest mo mo mega mock drills conducted in India, simulating an earthquake, simulating, huh? simulating an earthquake of magnitude 7.2 and on Richter scale. The main purpose was the main purpose was to check the alertness and preparedness of various agencies, commuters in the event of a disaster of such magnitude. So this is one of the examples that how the training is given by including the uh, natural disasters which happen in that particular area. 
the national disaster management authority and delhi disaster management authority jointly conducted the drills at several places across the national capital including the six metro stations at around 11:30 am so that's this is one of the example how the training or mock drills are performed under nidm okay so this was just the basic basis about how the nidm was formed and the history of nidm and what the training or responsibilities of nidm is okay we'll go through one of the ppt related to it disaster management in india emerging issues and responses that is by just a second Am I audible properly now? I just saw the messages. Sorry. Am I audible properly? Do let me know in the chat section. No problem. Am I audible properly? Okay. Okay. so disaster management in india this is one of the ppt that is made by the nidm institute okay emerging issues and responses so what are the contents under this see if you could see nidm logo how it is okay so what are the contents in it most of the contents we have gone through in the previous modules as well that is vulnerability profile of india to disasters economic losses due to disasters climate change and disasters disaster management a paradigm shift and thrust areas for capacity develop uh, building uh, in that you have policy and legal framework institutional setup mitigation projects mainstreaming disaster management in development training education and awareness generation strengthening response and rescue capacity research and <coughs> development so now most of the things if you see in this contains this we have covered in the previous module this will be like just a revision for you but a ppt is given by nidm and their work is also given in this okay so we know the vulnerability profile of our country that is india is vulnerable in varying degrees to a large number of natural as well as man made disasters over 40 million hectares 12% of the land is prone to floods and river erosion 58.6% of the land mass is prone to earthquakes of moderate to very high intensity over 7516 km long coastline close to 5700 km is prone to cyclones and tsunamis 68% of the cultivable area is vulnerable to drought and hilly areas are at risk from landslide and avalanche so this is all the study or the research that is done by nidm and then they have made a ppt on this so this is the vulnerability profile of india so whenever their question comes about the vulnerability profile of india which we have seen previously also so you should know our country is vulnerable to what type of disasters also the vulnerability of to nuclear biological and chemical disasters and terrorism has also increased okay so this particular picture vulnerability profile of various natural disasters see 58% to earthquake 16% to drought 12% to floods 8% to cyclones type of disasters and 3% to around landslides then the various when we were talking about in the second module about various types of disasters beat flood drought landslide sea level rise anything we had seen the vulnerability map of india 
correct if you remember in every ppt or discussing about every um, disaster we had seen the vulnerability map of india in that uh, it the legend of the map gives which particular area will be highly affected or more prone or more vulnerable so this research of all this or making of this maps or research about this is done under nidm then the major disasters all this documentation or the data this also is done in this nidm that is the major disasters during the last 40 years okay so like drought cyclone okay in areas of various states in of our country and the fatalities how many people were affected how many were injured okay and how much was the dis uh, destruction so all this data that is the name of the event the year in which that event occurred the state and area in which that event occurred and the fatalities the damage caused okay so during the last 40 years so these are the major disasters in india of course if you see here the recent one would be like 2012 but now we are in 2021 around 9 10 years okay so that will also be included because a lot of disasters we have faced right after 2012 till now okay so that also will come into it then this particular Uh, this thing map that we had seen previously as well that is for you to easily understand which particular disaster occurred in which particular area of this uh, of the country okay so this also we had seen so that easily we can make out from the from just one map the major disasters for in uh, that have occurred in our country then economic losses due to disasters so see this is a graph which shows how the economic losses the financial losses had increased see if you see here 1991 to 1995 1995 to 2000 2001 to 2005 so after every <coughs> sorry five years this data is that how the losses due to disasters have increased with the increase in disasters year by year then climate change and disasters increasing in frequency and intensity of the hydrometeorological disasters that is hydrological disasters sea level rise posing threat to coastal region change in monsoon leading to uneven pattern of rainfall both frequency and time glacier melting in himalayan region leading to flood in one region and drought in other change in humidity and sunshine duration and adverse impact on crop production and diseases so that is how this climate change is increasing the number or frequency of the disasters that are occurring in our country all this study is made under nidm then paradigm shift the paradigm shift i have told you what do you call, what do you mean by paradigm shift a complete 360 turn in which in the way the process was followed or done a complete 360 turn is called the paradigm shift so paradigm shift after 1990 1999 from response and relief to prevention mitigation and preparedness so initially when just the response after disaster stages were given most importance after 1999 when the change in the disaster management occurred so and more importance was given to prevention mitigation and preparedness for that disaster high power committee was set up in august 1999 overall capacity building thrust areas were policy and legal framework so after 1999 the major areas which were focused is policy and legal framework institutional setup mitigation projects mainstreaming disaster management in development training education and awareness effective response mechanism research and development so when you talk about policy and legal framework of course disaster management act which comes into being so this is just a brief that is the disaster management policy was to build or is a uh, is that to build a safe and disaster resilient india by developing a holistic 
holistic in the sense overall proactive multi disaster and technology driven strategy through a culture of prevention mitigation preparedness and efficient response the disaster management act 2005 in 2005 it came into being and the approach was paradigm shift from response to centric there is response or working towards just a specific area to an overall approach to a holistic and integrated approach it was backed by institutional framework and legal authority and supported by financial mechanism for creation of new funds then we know this institutional framework right we know all these things that is how the ndma was set up as the apex body with prime minister as chairperson under which you have nec and which consists of secretaries of 14 ministries and chief of integrated defense staff function as executive committee of ndma then at the center you have central ministries that is ndma nidm ndrf right at state level you have sdma that is headed by chief minister and you have state executive committee similarly at district level you have ddma that is headed by district magistrate and it is the, it forms an interface between the government and public now this should be fixed in your mind because we have gone through this so many times right we have gone through this structure so many times then other ministries that are responsible for disaster management this also one table i had shown you previously right which are the different disasters and who are the departments or the ministries which are responsible for it like for example they have also included in their ppt that if it is drought it ministry of agriculture epidemics and biological disaster it is ministry of health chemical disaster it is ministry of environment nuclear accident and leakages it is department of atomic energy railway accident it is the ministry of railways air accident it is the ministry of civil aviation and natural disaster or civil strife or that is any any um uh, you know any war like situation or uh, when there is any uh, dispute civil dispute the ministry of home affairs okay see some of the data about the different mitigation projects that were carried out cyclones that is the world bank project and how much investment was there earthquake then pilot project for school safety national disaster information and communication network so these are the mitigation projects that is what do you call what do you mean by mitigation when you are supposed to reduce the impact of any disaster the measures that are taken in order to reduce the impact of any disaster that is called the mitigation projects right so the various mitigation projects were taken into being then mainstreaming disaster management in development all new project or programs will mandatorily have disaster man management resilience inbuilt okay planning commission and the ministry of finance to give approval to the project only if disaster resilience self certification is provided only if your project is related to disaster resilience because that is the policy of disaster management of the country ongoing projects to be revisited to include the disaster resilience audit infrastructural loans to be sanctioned by the banks only after due diligence on disaster management resilience audit checking whether these programs whether these projects and obtaining a certificate whether any project or any strategy that is made is made in taking into account the disaster management resilience i am again telling you what do you call as disaster management resilience that is making a particular country say our of course our country uh, to face a disaster and overcoming it as early as possible we are disaster resilient that is we are ready to face we are ready to we are prepared to face that disaster and come out of it as early as possible existing lifeline projects to be selectively revisited and retrofitted there is changes has to be made reporting item in the national development council the highest national planning body see training education and awareness generation you have nidm for training education and awareness generation you have nidm at the national level you have disaster management centers at the state level 
and then there is training centers of line departments training by ndrf and local self government at district and the local level few of the pictures see national institute of disaster management nidm face to face training programs at nidm the number of programs year wise see how this the excellence uh, of this nidm could be measured that the number of programs if you see how they have increased right from its establishment to the present of course this graph is not till present but till 2012 they have given that how the number of programs in related to education training you know that have increased few of the courses that is web based online courses provided by nidm are c comprehensive disaster risk management framework cdrmf of 6 weeks community based disaster risk management cbdrm of 4 weeks earthquake risk reduction err of 4 weeks risk identification assessment and analysis that is ra of 4 weeks safer cities sc of 4 weeks climate change and disaster risk clc of 4 weeks financial strategies for managing the economic impacts of disaster that is fsm eis of 4 weeks risk sensitive land use planning of 4 weeks and gender issues of 4 weeks so these are the web based online courses they have face to face training is given that we have just seen the number of uh, face to face training courses or the programs how they have increased year by year plus they do have online courses as well in idm then satellite based program satellite based demonstration come training program on disaster management is conducted through edusat network then self e learning courses it consists of 10 courses out of which three launched and seven in final stage to be launched in april 2011 and this is this is given about 2011 if you go to their website then the website now like i have told you the website is nidm.gov.in if you go to that website you could see number of e learning courses that have included under this nidm which people at different places can learn through distance education through online through self learning course okay course is to open for all who wish to have basic knowledge in disaster risk management and don't wish to attend regular or other course in addition to nidm in addition nidm also engage in providing hrt that is human resource development support to various state and central government and other departments like universities municipal committees etc the other activities that are conducted in this nidm are documentation first that is india disaster report that is also carried out by nidm national response plan and national human resource development plan under finalization directory of disaster management institutions and resource person under publication so the whole directory na of who is responsible or who is the resource person everything is prepared by nidm best practices in disaster risk reduction then archives of various common natural and lesson learned okay so the documentation of all these things is done on in nidm then training modules that is around 17 training modules 10 of nidm and 7 under government of india united nations development program disaster risk reduction program and many of the modules have increased at present education and awareness generation that is disaster management in course curriculum of school and university level education observe the disaster risk reduction environment day and day for disabled people at national and state level IEC material develop leaflets brochure and other IEC material of awareness then 
developing posters and documentaries on themes related to disaster risk reduction then e learning and self learning courses that is being publicized okay so all these are the education and awareness program that is carried out by the nidm okay then training at community level so capacity building projects in partnership with the national university and ministry of rural development these are the number of the projects i would say this is till 2012 only there are still number of projects that have increased okay that is the number of projects or what you say ha capacity building project at community level the training okay so that number is given which has increased of course then panchayat raj institutes that is the local self government training in the state institutions of rural development and national institute of rural development for the panchayat raj institutes under active planning with the ministry of the panchayati raj awareness generation and preparedness through pri training institutes disaster resilient ensure in their projects that is these are the work that are carried out by nidm okay so that is documentation training modules education and awareness capacity building projects at local level at state level of course then of course we know about the ndrf okay that is also included in nidm that is the research about it or the documentation about it is also included in nidm so the composition now you know it is not 10 it was 10 previously now there are 12 battalions and four in the process okay so the task of this ndrh we know that is specialized response during disasters they are well equipped and trained in search and rescue operations they assist in community training and preparedness they impart basic and operation level training to state disaster response force so be it police civil defense and home guards proactive deployment during impending disaster situations liaison reconnaissance rehearsals and mock drills so all this is done under the response and rescue operations by ndrf so this we had seen yesterday also then sdrf of course at state level and capacity building for fire service and civil defense the locations now this here if you see in this particular diagram this is only about the 10 battalions this is completely revised now few of the pictures we had seen yesterday also about the ndrf in action then ndrf in foreign countries like in japan helping in tsunami rescue operations a lot of mock drills mock exercises conducted correct yesterday also we had seen a lot of mock drills mock exercises workshops etc that are conducted okay so few pictures about that as well see okay so then in research and development involvement of various universities and research institutes to carry out the research for disaster management that is also uh, that also comes under nidm huh? the research work that also comes under nidm case studies and lesson learned exercises by nidm preparation of digital maps preparation of upgraded hazard maps development of gis platform for vulnerability analysis and risk assessment seismic microzonation improve modeling for advanced forecasting capability national disaster management information system and national rescue network okay so that all also comes under nidm okay so we'll stop our lecture here today